folks. Anyway, uh, today we decided to do an interesting project. About uh, two weeks ago, I had gotten Sage, mm -hmm. and over the past two weeks, I've been busy trying to level him up from level one to level 35. And I haven't as yet put a single rune or glyph on him, because I was looking at the forums, I was looking at the various mm -hmm. sites, and the opinions were many. As usual, the minds were few on what was the best course of action. I mean, some people, well, you know, you take the two glyphs, which actually they called runes, but they are glyphs, the rhomboid things yeah. in his development line, and that was a systematic mistake, because the runes are the round ones, and the glyphs are the rhomb well, rhomboids, whatever, yeah. And um, basically, I'm kind of going a little bit against the grain, because I'm not going to put any health boosts on him, but what I did was... Well, we'll see what happens yeah. from it. Uh, I saved my mythic double blast shield from Tehran, yeah. whom I never applied it on, so I have that. Basically, in a nutshell, what's going to happen is this. This is the first part. These are the runes that I'm going to put on Tehran, the uh, mythic double blast and the legendary double blast, and the glyphs are going to be a mythic explosive, uh, exploding shield and a legendary rage and another legendary rage. Okay? Yes, um, and I'm going to give a breakdown exactly of what his power will be with the various runes and glyphs boosted and unboosted. And at level 35, you can check in the forums or whatever sites. So there's actually, sorry to interrupt, there's mm -hmm. actually this really great uh, sheet if you go to Pocket, uh, if you go to the War Dragons website that tells you pretty much, you can't probably see it, that mm -hmm. lists off all of his levels. It lists off like every requirement you need to get him, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really great little spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. um, and so on this spreadsheet, it says, you said he's level 35. Mm -hmm. He should be hitting a 10.1 million unboosted. No, for 35, they say that's. Well, that's odd because my Tehran's, uh, not Tehran, excuse me, Sage, yes, unboosted without runes or glyphs hits at 10.1 million at level 35. And read the number off of them. <laughs> and here on the side it says that unboosted, his power should be 6.945 million, which is very odd. Oh, I wonder if it has to do mm -hmm. with the fact that we've done research. Ah, okay. I, so sorry, very good point. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, we had done a lot of research, and instead of his starting power, well, his starting power at level 35 being 6.945 minus 10.1, and that's unboosted, and boosted at level 35 is 17.1 million, but that's without any runes or glyphs. Now, as we're going to add the uh, runes and glyphs I mentioned before, we're going to see his power unboosted with them on. Uh, power boosted with them on, but they are not as yet maxed. And part three is going to be Sage level 35 unboosted with glyphs and runes maxed, and then level 35 boosted with glyphs and runes maxed. Okay, so basically this is the sheet. You can hold it. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a pain to read it. But there are six combinations. Sage level 35 unboosted, regular, no glyphs, Sage level 35 boosted, without runes and glyphs, Sage level 35 unboosted with glyphs, but they're unmaxed, Sage level 35 boosted with, yep, I don't know, I hope it's not upside down, yeah, runes and glyphs unmaxed, and then you have, finally, Sage level 35 with runes and boost, uh, runes and glyphs equipped but unboosted, and the final stage will be Sage level 35 boosted with runes and glyphs maxed out. And then we're going to uh, include how much dust it costs to max mm -hmm. out the runes and glyphs and the percentage of power, which will be his final power over the initial power. The initial power is 17.1 million, that's boosted. Okay, and the final power is going to be with the runes and glyphs equipped, boosted, and you'll see the percentage increase. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's it. If it's going to get a little bit complicated, then I'll include this third sheet here which actually still has to be filled in, but the final percent increase will be at level 35. 17.1, remember, is his power at level 35 boosted, and we'll see what his mm -hmm. final power will be with the runes and glyphs that I'm going to equip. So, basically, let's start. This is a key note on how important research really is. Mm -hmm. Because just by doing the research, your dragons are hitting 
At over 30% higher. higher. Yeah, because he was 6.95 on boost and minus 10.1. Yeah, that's over 30% right there, just from the research alone. And that goes across the spread for all the dragons. All your dragons. Mm -hmm. So guys, don't underestimate the power of research, and I'm only somewhat a little bit into the green level research, because the green eggs start to become expensive, and of course gold is worse, platinum, sapphire, yeah, etc. I've only done one green research, so I wonder mm -hmm. how that hit mine. Yeah. Because you did um, a bunch, you did some of the green. I did some of the green, not very much, yeah. not really very much at all. But anyway, I'm going to start recording. We're going to have a part of the video that we're now going to utilize with, you know... The phone. Yes. So, let's start. Here, bubble blast. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. I'm nervous because I really do want to get a good result, but what'll be, that'll be. See, I did Faye already. Mm -hmm. And Faye, I put a lot into her, and I thought she was going to be a good dragon. And at 21, mm -hmm. level 21, I'm still not that pleased with her. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is the mythic double blast, and that explosive shield. Uh, Increases twice, plus eleven point three percent wind wall duration. He doesn't have wind wall, but it's a yeah. side bonus, whatever. Anyway, we're going to equip it. What I did learn in the forums today is, if you have a boost on your dragon form a glyph, and you put that spell on there, so like if you put a wind wall spell on this dragon, then you would get the additional boost as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Anyway, with the mythic double blast now, his power has increased. Let's see. And this is him. Uh, 11 million. Okay, so it was 10.1, so it almost yeah. went up a million points. But so far it's unboosted. Okay, let's equip the next one. Legendary Double Blast. Right? And we did do some research and determined that stacking runes and glyphs oh, wait a second. does Mythic. work. Yeah, wait a second. Uh, but yeah, okay. Then we're going to put the legend. Yes, it does work. I'm kind of, well, I don't know, it's 10% so far. Let's see if it's really going to be that great. Legendary Double Blast, right? Yes. So we put that on him, equip. So this has now taken him up to 11,782,000. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's now put the Mythic Explosive Shield on him. And that's a glut. A glyph, yes. Mythic Explosive Shield glyph. Equip. Let's see how much of that took him up. He is now at 12,768,000. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. Yeah, that's yeah. a good jump. Let's put the Legendary Rage on him. kind of, eh, I don't know if I was disappointed, but I was hoping. It'd be a bigger jump? Yes. I think that when I had the big jump for Faye, I was going off of this calculation and then what I have, that of course, because when I did Faye, I thought I had a 60% or 65% mm -hmm. increase, remember? But it could also be because I had done some previous research yeah. that her starting wasn't quite as low. I was going to say, so far he went from 10.1 million to 13 million 450, so it's not bad so far, yeah. but I have a feeling it's going to be like 40 something percent because mm -hmm. I hear some of these numbers about it doubling. But I think what people are making the mistake on is actually taking his power without glyphs, mm -hmm. unboosted, and then boosting it and then adding the glyphs, and then that creates the illusion that you more than double the strength yeah. of the dragon. That won't happen. Or they're going off of the chart. Mm -hmm. And not taking into the account that they already have 20, 30% because of the research they've done. Yeah, yeah. And then undercutting the, yeah, the yeah, importance yeah. of research. And then it creates which the is illusion. What I did. Yeah, because I was thinking that, yeah, to myself, comparing it to what it should be, because I see people getting 210, 220% power on their dragon, and it's like, guys, that'd be strange because then at level 35, my dragon would be hitting at about 55 or 60 million. And, you know, he'd be hitting stronger than a lot of. Garnets. I mean, yeah. like a really upgraded garnet. The the company, the game company, simply will not allow that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what we have here now is we're going to put on one more legendary rage, and we'll see what that will give the dragon. Because you double boost, you uh, double stacked rage and the double blast mm -hmm. shield. Yep. And so and now what I have here is a legendary. Yes, this is what I have, and I haven't upgraded them yet. 
I don't know if you can tell that I'm recording it on this. Can you tell now? No, I guess you can't. But again, like I said, I have the Mythic Double Blast, Legendary Double Blast, Mythic, Mythic Explosive Shield, Legendary Rage, and a second Legendary Rage. This is it here on the screen. I'm kind of going along an untraditional path here because I didn't do anything to augment his health. And he does have the um, Super Rejuvenate? Yes, he does have the Super Rejuvenate and the Lightning Storm, but my mentality was if I give him a double Legendary Rage, Rage will give him any kind of a spell. It'll give him the White Shield, it'll give him the Rejuvenate or the Lightning Storm. Yeah. So you could focus exclusively on one spell or you could focus on Rage, which can help him with yeah. all spells. It's a simply different yeah. approach. I'm not saying it's better, but being that I had no Legendary or even epic health glyphs, so, you know, yeah. I decided to avoid that. And there is no thunderstorm glyphs at all. Yes. So. so, let's see what his power unboosted is. It's 14,133,000. So, it went from, hold this, from 10.1 to 14.13. That's not bad. That's no. about a 40-something percent, but we're not finished upgrading the glyphs yet. 14.13. So, we have 14.13, right? And for him boosted, it would be, let's see. The, these increases, by the way, guys, are uh, percentage-based, so it doesn't matter whether you check him boosted or unboosted, just be consistent, you know? But it's 70%, 69% boost when you activate the Dragon Attack and Dragon HP, right? So, his power boosted with the glyphs, but the glyphs are not as yet processed is, let's see, 23,855,000. So, 23.88. So, let's do the math on that. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 23.88 divided by 17.1. Just want to give you more exacting numbers, guys. And again, I haven't upgraded the glyphs or runes yet. Is 1.396 is 139.6%. Now, it's almost 40, but we're not finished yet. We're also going to do the dusting, okay? So you can see this sheet right here. So, so far, just doing the runes and glyphs like that will upgrade him 40%, but I haven't upgraded them yet, so let's upgrade them now, right? And I'm also going to see how much rune dust this costs. So, how much rune dust do you have to start? I have 30,900,000 rune dust to start. Okay. Enhance. It's going to be expensive. Let's see if I should even do it all the way to six. Enhance another room. Mm -hmm. 1.82 million, 15.8. Yeah, yeah, it does. It gives him a significant thing. So now from maxing out the first legendary double blast and the mythic double blast, his power has gone up to 25 million. Okay. But it's still, yeah, well, it's still nothing out right now. Well, he is now my strongest dragon. Yes. But, let's see. Which is strongest dragon before this? Al Gore? Al Gore, yeah. But he wasn't that much stronger than Al Gore yet. Because, like I said, sometimes people take really outrageous numbers, and I was seeing people like more yeah. than doubling the strength of their dragon. It's like, well, wait a second, this is now. I mean, taking like El Primo, runes and glyphs, legendaries and mythics, yeah. and ones that are directly related to his power, rage, explosive shield, this is, these are the numbers that it'll give you. So, 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 let's see. Yeah, and we did choose ones that directly related, like the Explosive Shield and the Rage, instead mm -hmm. of ones that were um, contrarily related because of Pocket Gem's release of the uh, statement that the... They're going to have to be exact, exact, yeah. So, so far we're up to 26, we're almost at 25 million 680 thousand right now. I have a feeling he'll probably be about 27 million, so let's see. But again, this is incremental percentage-wise, so let's see. 
you know. And here he is, 56.17% stronger, yes. His initial power was 17.1, boosted, now it's 26.71. He's slightly stronger, well, he's somewhat stronger than my Tehran, but in my Tehran there was, you know. So, this is max plus boosted, 26.71 mil. How much is your... And the um, level 75 with balloons and licks on boost, unmasked. Plus boosted, yes, 17.1. Your Tehran right? is the same level. I forgot. My Tehran is the same level, that's right. And my Tehran, because one of his glyphs is actually a common, mm -hmm. he has at about 22.4 million, right? So my Sage is significantly stronger at the same level, hitting at 26.7 million versus 22.4 million. So he hits at about 4.3 million stronger than my Tehran. It's about 15%. So yes, he's 15% stronger than Turan, but again, he has better glyphs. Other than that, I think all things being equal, they would be a little bit more comparable. But yes, it did drive up my total dragon power, and I thought this video might be of some interest to you. Yeah. Definitely a great dragon. You know, the storm is good, the rejuvenate is good. Uh, I focused on upgrading his shield, so his shield hopefully is going to do some serious damage. And basically, that's it. So now my combined firepower is 75.7 million. So basically the two sheets you'd want to focus on, I mean I went through an awful lot of trouble to write out this one, but again it's a little bit too complex. I mean there are some things that are valid here, 56%, you see that 56.17% on the others, but these are all the factors you should consider, okay, when you're trying to see whether he's boosted, unboosted, with the glyphs and um, with the glyphs and runes and yada yada. So basically, you know, there are a whole lot of combinations. But again, to focus on the sheet, this is sheet one. I put a mythic double blast, a legendary double blast, that's for the runes, for the glyphs I put a mythic explosive shield, and two legendary rages. And at level 35 the result was his power went from being 10.1 to 14.3 unboosted, and boosted 17.1 mil to 23.88 originally, but that's before I boosted them, so it was 39.6%, and once I had boosted them, this is the final result. Sage at level 35 with glyphs and runes unmaxed plus boosted 17.1. Sage at level 35 with glo uh, glyphs and runes maxed plus boosted is 26.71. So initial power is 17.1, final power is 26.71. The percent increase therefore is 26.71 divided by 1.71, 156.17. So I boosted my dragon over 56%. Guys, sorry, I knew there was something I was forgetting, but I wanted to include how much rune dust the entire uh, upgrade cost, so we're sort of pasting this in, but maybe there's no point in saying it. Anyway, I'm going to check it right now. If you ever want to check how much rune dust you have, you go to the building to the uh, left of your island, the and thing. the rune thing, yes, and you explore runes. So my runes went from 30.9 to 20.3 million so that cost a total of 10.6 million rune dust i should add that to the final result yep 10.6 million rune dust mm -hmm. rune plus 10.6 million rune dust i should add that yes yeah. a lot of rune dust yes that's a lot of rune dust I hope they're not going to get a rune, so I have to turn them to dust to salvage them. So basically, this is the final result. As the dragon went up, a total of 56.17%. And the total cost for upgrading all the sigils and runes was 10.6 million rune dust. That's basically it, guys. So once again, take care. Show a major star. Major star. See, he's getting back. Yes, we could upgrade him too. With rune dust. Bye-bye. Lots of room dust.